Greeting to the viewers who have accompanying 24 hours channel. We wish you and all the viewers good health and wonderful moment on our channel. What even have taken place today? What is the special situation of global security? Please update with us in the following video. Ladies and gentlemen, Yesterday China Morning Post, one of the very famous newspapers of China, reported on Typhoon No. 3, the third strongest storm in the world with a storm level of 280 km slash h. Shocks above levels 17 and storms are sweeping the capital Beijing as well as Tiananmen Square, causing electricity, roads, and stations to be blocked, trees uprooted, and houses collapsed. All the roads in the capital Beijing have turned into rivers because the storm No. 4 above brought a lot of heavy to very heavy rain falling from the sky, causing the capital Beijing to be blocked and here people are protected. It is said that cause and effect are being poured on the government of Mr. Xi Jinping. Many other opinions believe that this is because Mother Nature wants to punish China on behalf of countries around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, since January until now, China has received up to four big and small storms continuously hitting Beijing, leaving the headquarters of the Xi Jinping government not knowing what to do. Xi Jinping's government headquarters do not understand why storms continuously hit China, engulfing all southern provinces. According to the latest record from China's central television, CCTV, some southern provinces such as Fujian, Hubei, Hunan, Sichuan, Guangding, Guangxi, and Xinhaibun have been flooded in the floodwaters. Houses from six to seven floors high now only the top floor is not flooded. Currently, the Three Gorges Super Dam is on red alert because the water level in the upstream has been pouring rapidly in recent days to 65 billion cubic meters of water. Irrigation experts around the world say that if the Three Gorges Dam were to fail, it would engulf three-quarters of China's landmass outside the South China Sea. This is the reason why mainland China's people are being evacuated everywhere. Some rich people take flights to Europe, Africa and America to escape. Those without money flee to the trails and openings to neighboring countries, including Vietnam. The Chinese people are not knowing what to do when the rainy season, high winds, earthquakes, earth-breaking dikes and dams are happening continuously and spreading throughout the past few days with no signs of cooling down in the capital Beijing, Tiananmen Square. In provinces such as Shenzhen, Hubei, Wuhan, Sichuan, Hunan, and Wangding in recent days, heavy rain, high winds, and earthquakes also continue to occur at very strong intensity, causing electricity and roads to be damaged. Schools, stations are blocked. All autonomous regions of the Chinese site have been put on the highest alert alert. People are advised not to go out on the street. There is an extremely dangerous thing for the Chinese side. That is, the Three Gorges Super Dam, the largest super dam on the planet, is seriously threatened by the water level at the super dam that has exceeded the red alert level by up to 14 meters. The dam is now where the Yangtze River crosses and is located in the cities of Hubei and Hunan. It is the pride of the Xi Jinping government, but now the Three Gorges Super Dam is the death grave of the Chinese side. Therefore, opening heavy rains, high winds, earthquakes, breaking dikes, breaking dams is a huge danger for the Chinese side and this is causing the brains of the Xi Jinping government to eat poorly. Sleep restlessly. Ladies and gentlemen, it can be said that storms and rain and wind are constantly sweeping to China, causing electricity and roads to be blocked. People are isolated. Xi Jinping's government doesn't know what to do. It is said that it is China that has caused the world's crimes, so now China has to pay for it, and if it does not want money and epidemics, Beijing now has only one way only. That is the way to apologize to countries in the region, including apologizing to Vietnam. In addition, China must set up a prayer hall to prevent natural disasters and epidemics from raging. Evidence of this situation is not known where Beijing will go. According to CCTV and the Chinese TikTok network, some images have been posted showing that floods are happening everywhere, especially the Three Gorges Super Dam, one of the deadliest graves of the Chinese side. Ladies and gentlemen, there is extremely dark news for the people of Wuhan City, where the world's first COVID-19 pandemic occurred. It was a 3.5 magnitude earthquake that occurred near the Three Gorges Super Dam that crosses the Yangtze River. Yesterday night's earthquake caused people in some areas downstream of the Three Gorges Super Dam to flee to places of refuge. According to records from the Chinese website TikTok, the earthquake displaced 80 million people yesterday night at 2 am and the earthquake shook a large area at the Three Gorges Dam. Shake very hard. It is known that the 3.5 magnitude earthquake struck about 2,000 kilometers deep underground, that is, 2 kilometers, 
causing all downstream areas in the Three Gorges to issue a red alert, and the people of China is extremely worried by natural disasters and epidemics are still raging. While the whole world is focusing on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, in the South China Sea, China conducted more than a week of military exercises near the coast of Vietnam, making the situation in the region more tense. Last week, China's Maritime Administration MSA, announced that the exercise would take place in the South China Sea from March 4 to 15 in the area between China's Hainan province and Vietnam. China also warned ships to stay away from the area. Comparing the coordinates announced by the Chinese side, the exercise area is located near the middle of Sonia City of Hainan Island and Hue City of Vietnam, part of the area where China's military exercises are located within Vietnam's 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone. This is the latest development in a series of actions that China has violated Vietnam's exclusive economic zone, conducted based on illegal claims in the South China Sea. For a long time, China unilaterally outlined the Nine Ash Line or Khao's Tongue Line, an unreasonable claim to sovereignty over 80% of the East Sea area based on the argument of historic rights encroaching into the area. Exclusive economic rights of many countries along the East Sea, including Vietnam, the seas beyond the jurisdiction of the coastal states called the International Sea or the High Seas, the seabed and mineral resources in international waters are the common heritage of mankind. UNCLOS also identify states. Coastal areas have sovereign rights over the natural resources of the waters, seabed and subsoil of the seabed. Certain economic activities and jurisdiction over scientific research and environmental protection activities. All activities related to the exploration and exploitation of natural resources in the exclusive economic zone and continental shelf of a coastal state must be permitted by that country. Any unauthorized activity is illegal, violating the provisions of ENCLOSE. Both are members of ENCLOSE, but China does not comply with the above regulation but illegally defines its own waters in the East Sea, based on the vague concept of historic rights. In this regard, in June 2016, the arbitral tribunal in the case of the Philippines against China ruled that there is no evidence that China has historically performed the inspection alone, control the waters within the Nine Dash Line as well as its resources. Therefore, the court concluded that there is no legal basis for China to claim historic rights with the Nine Dash Line. Thus, it can be seen that China's exercise in the exclusive economic zone of Vietnam South Vietnam, for any reason, is violating Vietnam's sovereignty, sovereign rights and jurisdiction in accordance with international law, especially in close 1982. Regarding China's military maneuvers taking place in the East Sea, a spokesperson for the Vietnamese Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed, part of the maritime notification area belongs to the exclusive economic zone and continental shelf of Vietnam is determined under in close 1982. Vietnam asked China to respect and not violate Vietnam's exclusive economic zone and continental shelf and not take actions to complicate the situation, thereby contributing to maintaining peace, security and stability in Vietnam. South China Sea Area Action to project power Tense the situation recently, China has increased military exercises in the South China Sea. MSA statistics show that in 2021, China conducted at least 51 exercises, more than 20 in 2020. From the beginning of 2022 until now, China has conducted at least seven exercises in the East Sea, including one exercise in the Gulf of Tonkin. On the basis of dissecting from many angles, military experts it is believed that the purpose of China's exercises in the South China Sea comes from a plot to monopolize this sea on the basis of the Nine Dash Line. It is an act of power projection and deterrence against countries having maritime sovereignty disputes with China. It is also an act that both warrants and probes the reaction of the US and other countries to Beijing's ambition to monopolize the East Sea. According to Colin Ko, a researcher at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, the drills in the Spratly Islands area that the Chinese Navy often conducts are meant to flex its muscles to assert its sovereignty claims. Unilateral Rights China's increasingly aggressive naval maneuvers are seen by many as an attempt to exploit U.S. weakness to secure a new advantage in flashpoints, said Philippine journalist Javed Haydarian. Naval expert Brian Clark of the Hudson Institute, based in Washington, USA, warned of another danger that Chinese exercises do not simply simulate an attack on military forces, but rather to use the military analogous to police action to quell potential civil unrest. To serve the expansion of operations in the South China Sea, China's Navy is increasing investment at a breakneck pace. According to the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence, ONI, 
If in 2015, the Chinese Navy had only 225 warships in service, by now this number has been 360 ships, 63 more than the US. It is expected that by 2025, the Chinese Navy can have up to 400 warships, while the US Navy only aims to maintain a fleet of 355 ships, not only increasing in number, according to Andrew Erickson, an expert at the China Maritime Research Institute of the US Naval University. The Chinese Navy no longer has to receive waste from the shipbuilding industry, instead, ships that are increasingly sophisticated and capable, with a larger tonnage and carrying more weapons. China's naval ships are protected by a large-scale missile force on the mainland, helping to increase power in all conflicts near the country. China's increase in military exercises in the East Sea to project power and gradually realize its ambition to monopolize this sea area has made the situation in the region more tense, creating the risk of conflict, and vice versa. Efforts to maintain peace and stability in the region. And the above information is also the last information in today's newsletter. Sincerely thank you and you for following our newsletter. Wish you and your family always healthy and happy. If you find it good, please subscribe to the channel then press the bell icon in the right corner of the screen to not miss the latest news that we will update. But now say hello and see you again. That was the latest information that we have just updated. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to receive the last information, the most accurate from our editorial team. Thank you for your interest and support. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming videos of the program.